don't even have words to describe my kids this afternoon. OMG. Good morning, I'm back. I took like two weeks off from filming just because my life has been so crazy lately. And so I thought I would start back on a somewhat normal schedule. It's Monday morning, I am at school. I just got here, so I'm going to go put my lunch in the refrigerator and go ahead and get my computer turned on and everything set up for my kids when they come in. I don't have morning tubs out because so many of my kids have mailbox work, so I think I'm just gonna have them do that when they come in and then the ones who finish can find something quiet to do. So I will see you guys in a little while. OMG, this day has been a typical Monday. Um, my kids are at lunch right now, and I'm back in the room. I want to get some stuff together before they get back. We are doing sound. I don't know if I have told you guys since I haven't filmed in two weeks, but we started a unit on sound and how sound is made by vibrating objects, and they are actually working on a project at home and have been for a week. It's due on Friday, and it is an instrument, so they have to create an instrument that is either a wind instrument, a stringed instrument, or a percussion instrument, and then they have to be able to change the pitch. And then on Friday, they're gonna present them. Well, I don't know if they'll do it on Friday, but they're due on Friday. So, last week on Thursday, no, Wednesday, there's been so much go, go on, it's hard to keep it all straight. So last Wednesday, we started sound stations, and I have seven sound stations and each one is a different experiment where they experiment with vibrations and sound and so we started that on Wednesday then Thursday I was out all day for a whole day planning with my grade level so we all had subs just to kind of work on our ELA plans and math and look at some data so I had a sub on Thursday, and then on Friday, we were on a field trip. We went to see a play, um, Click Clack Moo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that book, but we went to see a play, and then we went out to a Mexican restaurant that's called I Caramba, which was really fun. So we didn't do science on Friday. So today, when they get back from lunch, we are going to get those sound stations back out and they're gonna finish working on that today. So, I'm gonna go eat a bite of lunch. I'm starving, I haven't even had breakfast. So I'm gonna go eat some lunch. We'll do the sound stations when they get back, and then I should be able to touch base with you guys when they go to music today. I don't think we're meeting. At least not the whole time. So I'll see you guys then. So I wanted to show you guys real quick some of the stations that we're doing. There are seven. The last one we actually did all together because it was kind of a, a long one so I had some eggs that were labeled A through F and then I would shake the egg they had to listen to the sound and write their guess and then I showed them what was inside and then they wrote what was inside and some of them got you know familiar sounds right the rice the bell and then they had to tell which one was easier to guess and which ones were harder to guess so station one is feel the beat they have a drum and some rice and they have to bang on the floor with a mallet and watch what the rice does and observe the rice. There's the sound hanger. So they wrap the ends of the strings that are tied to a hanger around their fingers, bang it against the desk, and put their fingers in their ears and then they have to tell how the sound changed. This one is a bucket with some rocks and they tap the rocks inside the water and then outside the water and tell how the sounds are different. A cardboard kazoo. They made a cardboard kazoo out of a toilet paper roll and some tissue paper and a rubber band and then they're supposed to hum into it and tell what it feels like. A knock knock is where they 
place their ear on a desk and their partner knocks on the desk and then they try it without putting their ear on it and tell which one is louder. The doctor is in. This is where they listen to their chest or their partner's chest to see what they can hear. And I have a funnel that it doesn't, but it doesn't always work great. So I also have a stethoscope that they use. And then the mystery sound were the eggs. So um, several of them got several stations done, but no one is finished with all of them. So we are gonna continue that when they get back from lunch. So now you need tissue paper, one piece of tissue paper, and one rubber band. Four bill bill. different. You cannot hear the rocks when under, but you can when not. Okay, now I have to run. Run and play. I think we It's probably too loud. You have to bang the hanger and then put it in your ear and it should hear a buzzing sound. Don't let it touch your body because it stops vibrating. One piece. One piece of tissue paper. Yeah, that's right. Do I put it on twice or uh, like hair bow, but not three times? Right. Yeah. Now you put your mouth on the other end and hum and put your finger and feel. Don't poke a hole. Just you just poked a hole. So now you got to start over. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just had to have a heart to heart with my class because they are out of control. We did our sound stations when they got back from lunch, as you saw in the little clip, but there were kids literally walking around with their paper, some without their paper, doing absolutely nothing like the whole time. This is our second day of doing the stations and there's six stations and all they have to do is a tiny experiment that doesn't take not even a minute to do and then write about it. And it took them 30 minutes and I have kids who wrote nothing down. So, I don't know, I don't know why. Oh, and then I had kids doing the same station they'd already done last week. So, I had a chat with them, I took some points away and I sent them to music. So they're in music now, and I got my book order today. I was gonna show you guys. Some of my kids ordered some books. So I just went through and sorted what they got. So this is one student, this is one student, um, this is one student, and then I got this actually as a free gift. It's The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. I have never read this, so I thought it would be fun to read since my kids play rock, paper, scissors all the time. So I'm gonna put these in baggies so I can send them home today. And then I'm gonna look over my math lesson and see what we're doing for math. Oh, we have a program this afternoon at 1.30 in the auditorium. So I'm gonna take my kids out to recess about 15 minutes earlier. And then we'll go to that program at 1.30. It's about um, pasta for pennies and our school is gonna be raising money for leukemia and lymphoma. And so all the kids are gonna get a little box that they take home and collect pennies in. It's really cute. 
and then the class so this is what it is and they just put it together and so they collect pennies and then bring the pennies to school and we are having like a competition between the grade levels so the grade level with the highest amount um, collected I guess will win something I don't know what so I'm gonna put these boxes in their folders I haven't done that yet and probably go ahead and pass out their folders since we have that program they'll already be packed up and then we're gonna do some math when they get back it has been a wild and crazy day and it's only Monday <sighs> all right I'll see you guys in a little while don't even have words to describe my kids this afternoon. OMG. We had that program in the auditorium. Well, I told you guys about the sound stations. Then we went outside. We were outside for 30 minutes. It was nice weather today. Running around, getting a lot of energy out. And then we go to the program, which was fine. But after the program was over, I had kids standing up, shouting to their friends, um, the chairs in the auditorium are like the ones like you pull the seat down and sit down in it. So they had their seat up, rocking back and forth, um, and then running out into the hallway, trying to trip each other. I'm just like, what is going on with you guys? So I took a bunch of points away when we got back to the room and I gave points to those who made good choices and didn't stress me out. And then I sent a message on Class Dojo to their parents, all the parents, telling them that students were being off task today, they weren't following directions, they were not being safe, and if their child lost points today, that was why, and that they needed to talk to them about making good choices at school, and that I'm going to reward those students who didn't lose any points today, and I tallied it up, and it's six kids. Six out of 20 that didn't lose a point. So I'm gonna get them a little something and bring it to school tomorrow just to thank them for putting drops in my bucket and helping my day be a little bit better. But right now I'm in my room, it's three o'clock. I just had to walk the first load bus riders out to the buses. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to find something to do for Freedom Summer tomorrow like an activity or a question that they can answer about the story. So I'm gonna look on Teachers Pay Teachers and see what I can find. I do have a folder, it's actually right here, that I keep everything in for each unit that we do. And I don't have anything in here except questions. So I might try to incorporate some writing, and our learning target is recognizing points of view and speaking in different character voices when reading dialogue aloud. So I might try to find some point of view exercises or activities to go along with their reading tomorrow. So I'm gonna look into that and then I'm gonna try to get out of here early today because it has been one heck of a Monday. So I found this on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's Sweet Integrations, I think. Yeah, Sweet Integrations. And it's Freedom Summer, the book. There are a few things in here that I might do. There is a lot to choose from. Um, I wanted to show you guys one thing I'm doing tomorrow. Here we go. So we're gonna compare the characters because um, this book lends itself well for comparing characters since there is a black boy and a white boy in the book. And so they're going to 
fill that out. And I went ahead and made copies of that. I do want to find something with point of view since our standard has to do with point of view, but I may just do dialogue because it's basically um, speaking in character voices. So, I am having to take a few things home tonight. I have a meeting tomorrow with a parent regarding their child and um, it's like a tips meeting, like a, a process that we go through when students are struggling and they're not growing to see if they need to be tested for a learning disability. So I have a meeting for that tomorrow. I'm gonna take some stuff home and try to get all of that organized and written down for my meeting. I don't have any papers to take home to grade because I got all of those done today. So I guess that's all. So yeah, I am heading out and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I apologize for not being around the last couple of weeks, but I am going to get back on track. So I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know you like this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.